All right, something else that's very important in healing is uh, the tip of your rope. And a lot of people may not know what the tip of the rope is, but it is the point of your rope that breaks over uh, in the steer's back. You've got the top strand, the bottom strand, and the very tip of your rope. It's the part that's the furthest around your body when you're swinging your rope. And as a healer, you're, you're trying to rope something that is vertical, is what I like to say. It's like if a person was jump rope, if, uh, doing jump rope, jump rope is vertical. You're jumping up and down, the, your legs are up and down, and the rope has to get underneath your feet. That's exactly what healing is. It's the same philosophy as jump rope. We have to get our bottom strand of our rope on the ground when the steer's feet are off the ground and get them into our loop. So in order to do that, so many people want to swing their rope flat. If you have the plane of your rope flat, it's very hard to get it to the ground. So if we'll bring the tip of our rope down, point it at our target, the same way that we would do, like I said, playing football or baseball, you want to deliver the way where you want your rope to go. So I want my, my tip to be down. If my tip's up in the air, the steer's feet are on the ground, that's that much more area I have to cover to get my loop to the ground. So we want to make sure You'll notice on these video clips that uh, all of the runs, when I make, when I make the, the corner, I'm gonna keep my distance, see my shot, and then I'm gonna ride my horse up close to the target and get my tip down right over the middle of the steer's back. So important, and so many people don't ever really focus on this, but if you will get your tip down over their back, it just helps you get your rope on the ground. The same way that you do with a jump rope. You can't have it high, it'll hit your feet, hit your legs. If you're hitting yourself in the knees with them trying to jump rope, you're not gonna do very good. You gotta get that loop on the ground, so you gotta get that tip on the ground. So we have to start with our rope down over the middle of the steer's back, and then place our loop down where the feet are.